It is an interactive virtual anatomy table that you can use packaged images, we can input patient images, we can manipulate them all, we can look at them in every plane, cut them in any plane, um, and I think, I think it's just going to be, I think there's more uses than we can possibly right now know about. The data that is put in here um, is all DICOM data, so any patient that's had serial CTs, uh, we can, you know, assuming the CTs are, are thin enough, we can put the images in. We can manipulate it, um, but this is basically a computer screen. I can bring up my email if I wanted to. So uh, you can do anything on here, but it's just that with the software the table has, it allows us to take any image, make a 3D image out of it and manipulate it, rotate it and cut it and um, layer it. We can add layers to each image, we can subtract layers. You know, I still believe in book learning. I love books, but um, you know, you can't get away from the fact that, you know, books are really um, not three-dimensional. One of the things I love about some of the atlases is that they show so many different views of things. But something like this um, not only shows many views, but allows you to uh, customize your view. You can make any cuts. You can rotate it however you want. You want to look at the back or look at a structure from the back or from the side, you can do that or from the top. Um, and you can rotate it very quickly so you can really get to see the three-dimensional sense that uh, a patient has in a particular area. And I think that's going to be very valuable. Um, I don't think this is the way to learn all of anatomy, but I think it's an important way to use anatomy. I don't think this would be um, the way to teach a first-year anatomy course. It could supplement it and students would certainly, I think, be excited to see the anatomy they've learned now in a three-dimensional format, so it would be useful for that. Dissection does the same thing in that regard, but uh, this is so much more patient-centered that I think the students would be very thrilled to use it, and it can actually be patient-centered for those who are working with patients. So I think it's, um, I think it's a, use, a useful, important supplement to what we teach and how we teach.